Let's have it right. Up the Chelsea, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope you're all doing well. Well, I, well I'm not, and I know all the Chelsea lot ain't, and I know that the Minnows FC ultras ain't. But first and foremost, guys, I want you all to smash the piece that like button. If you haven't smashed it, smash it right now. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, ding dong, all that jazz, so you know when we're going live. And we've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is pinned down below in the description. Um, and uh, maybe I'll put it in the chat, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. But let's have it right. Big up to everyone in here. I hope everyone is doing well, yeah, first and foremost. Shout out to my legend and go, as always, Chelsea old boys. You know the deal, yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, rest in paradise as we know it. And um, as always, guys, you know the deal. We see things they'll never see. Make sure you do smash that like button, smash the subscribe button and be part of the channel because I tell you what, we've been saying this from day one. Day one, I've been coming at these clowns. Day one, I've exposed their fraudulent model. From day one, I have told everyone what the deal is. And you didn't want to listen. You want to carry on. You want to sponsor them. You were happy that Man and Havertz and all the players you had agendas on were sold. That's what you were going on and playing on. And you got what you wanted. And now you fucking get what you deserve. Because what we are witnessing right now is the fraudulent, absolute fraudulent minerals at our football club because of these owners, yeah? And we're going to dissect and we're going to go for everything. Shout out to everyone. I ain't going to go through the chat too much. Let's have it right, because I just want to land it and get it off my chest. Um, I'm doing other things, do you know what I mean? Um, and I, a big up to everyone. I know all the Minnows FC Ultras are in here. Big up to all of you guys, man. Big up to everyone in here, live and locked in. And listen, all the others, they go on all these other wishy-washy brown envelope platforms, yeah? Well, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Fucking drink it in. Drink all your fraudulent minerals in from them lot because those lot are the biggest frauds in the game. They had every opportunity to land it and speak the truth about what's happening at our football club and they still won't fucking admit it because they're all bought. Let's have it right. All these accounts, they're all bought. Every single fucking one of them, yeah? Going from the 20 hours of fucking day merchant to Abrizzo Romano, yeah? All the way down to the little Chelsea accounts, bruv, that want to what? Oh, I want to pick up. Can, can you? Can I pay you to retweet my tweet? Oh no, that's not enough for me. We got people charging to retweet tweets. Yeah. Well, this is the going rate now in the fan base. Yeah. It's a fucking joke, man. We got clowns everywhere, bro. Absolutely fucking everywhere in the fan base, and no one wants to wake up. No one wants to actually fucking address the situation. Yeah. Because all you're gonna do now. It's the same old narrative. We've got it from Fabrizio from day one already. Fuck what, 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago? He's put out the stats from last year, 2023. Our worst season in 30 years, all right? Bringing those stats up, the losses, draws, and wins. Let's have it right. Under the old jellyfish potter and all that jazz. And if it wasn't for Super Tommy T and his 10 points, we would have been fucking relegated. Let that sink in. Drink those minerals in, yeah? And then we go to this year. Now, they want to start the agenda. Fabrizio, starting the agenda on Pochettino. That he's obviously lost so many games. He's drawn this amount of games. He's only won one game, bruv. We got fucking what? Five points from six fucking games. Five points from six games. And the teams we play, the bar Liverpool, they're all shit. West Ham, you can give or take. But everyone else, we should be fucking wiping the floor with these teams. And we're not. We're in the mud. We are being smoked left, right and centre. We're being bent over, bruv. I'm watching fucking those goons and Spursy and the levels in that game. The levels is where we should be at, bruv. Where we should be challenging at the top half of the table. And I'm seeing these guys playing that football. Fucking Spursy, can you believe it? Are playing this type of football against title challenging goons, yeah? The Lego Ed Merchant FC. See. And here we are. I'm watching fucking shit, dog shit, absolute dog shit. Every department, everywhere, from fucking goalkeeper to striker, it's fucking awful, man. The balance ain't there. The core ain't there. The minerals ain't there. The experience ain't there. You know what do you expect, man? I expect all of this shit, and it's not about player agendas. It's not about the Daffers agenda. It's not about that. The agendas on the fucking clans. Siri Merchant, let's have it right. And Ted Lasso Bowley, Clear Lake. Why is you fucking wronging with the agenda of Roman Abramovich? It's all these guys, man. These guys are the culprits. These are the ones that they should be 
outed, bruv. They should be outed out of our football club. Do you understand me? These guys have killed and destroyed and gutted our football club. There is no identity. There's no patterns of play. It's the same old shit. We might as well have Jellyfish Potter in the dugout. That's how deep it is, bruv. That is how deep it is, yeah? All right? You've got a bench which is just a, 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 it's just a, a, a joke, bruv. It's an absolute joke. It's laughable looking at that bench, bruv. All right? You look at our first team, you think, is that not enough quality to beat Aston Villa at home, for fuck's sake? How are we not beating a, um, a Aston Villa at home, bruv? I mean, they're toothless up front. They're fucking shocking up front, guys. Yeah? There's no excuses here. All right? But you've got all these accounts feeding it in, bruv. Feeding it in. Saying that, uh, you know, we, we, we do so well at being the top half of the table. We're definitely getting top five. Ten out of ten window. You absolute melts, man. You're all fucking wrongings in the game. Every single one of you, bruv. Every single one of you, bruv, yeah? And if you don't like what I say, get the fuck out of it and jog on, man. What are you in here for, yeah? If you want to understand what's really happening, then fucking stay in and tune in, man, and let me educate you, sons, yeah? Because you lot are fucking idiots in the game, bruv. You think you know what's going on at Chelsea. You ain't got a fucking clue. And what's happening again? Siri Merchant going in the dressing room, is it? Well done. Go in the dressing room. Go and get your coaching badges and go and fucking go and manage the team. You might as well. You've been running this team since you've ever walked through this club and sacked Thomas Tuchel because Thomas Tuchel wouldn't let allow you in the dressing room. Wouldn't allow you to manage the team. Pochettino, another yes, man. I never wanted this guy. He's Spursy. But at the end of the day, I will back him and I am backing him. And at the end of the day, let's have it right. What fucking options has this gaffer got? Tell me what options. The only thing that I would question Pochettino on is why are you dropping Ben Chilwell, who's our experience, our vice fucking captain, and you are dropping him to play Mudrick and they're competing for left wing. It's a joke, man. Chilwell should be playing instead of Levi Colwell, bruv. Play him as a left fucking back, man. So we got overlaps and we can have Mudrick getting support so that he can do what he does best. Instead, we're sacrificing that. We're sacrificing two really good players, one with high potential that's down on confidence and one that's proven pedigree at Chelsea. You play your proven pedigree ballers, bruv. You don't drop them. You don't fucking drop your vice captain, man. He defeats the object of having a captaincy, bruv. I mean, it's like the captaincy's being thrown around like you're in a brothel, bruv. It's like, yeah, have a go, man. It's a train on your missus. It's a joke, bruv. What are we doing here, man? How is this acceptable? How are how are supporters not waking up to this? Because why? There's an agenda on Ben Chilwell. And again, the owners are feeding on this agenda on Ben Chilwell. That's the going rate. It's always the fucking case, man. When there's agendas on players, maybe they want to force Ben Chilwell out, bruv. Maybe that's the way it is. Maybe Mudrick now, he's being scapegoated, is he? He fucking played. He played the one world-class ball that any of these players on that pitch could even dream of playing. We got Enzo, who everyone goes is our fucking star boy, our Lampard, baby Lampard. The guy was anonymous in this game, man. They were, he's playing number 10 when the gaffers come out and said he's not even a number 10. So what are you playing with number 10? You're playing Gallagher next to Casado. He's a fucking number six, double six. And Gallagher's not a number six. And why is Thiago Silva not being given the captaincy when he's a fucking general and leader and he's raising the standards in training and everyone's fucking giving it big and in the media because Thiago Silva's falling out, he's getting pissed off because rightly so, he knows that the standards at this football club are in the mud. They're not where they should be, all right? We got nothing, bruv. We got nothing, man. We are toothless at this moment in time. The confidence is in the mud. The experience is not enough. There is not enough experience in this team to carry you through games, to get you by. There are runs being made in this game. There are passes not being made in this game. And that is it is all down to being a baby, a kid, bruv. It's kindergarten FC at Chelsea Football Club. That is what it is, bruv. It's what it is. It is what it is, man. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing else to really say about it. Apart from if you can't accept what's going on now, then you're a long way from Starbucks. Because the bottom line is this. I told you lot. Go and protest last season. Stop them from implementing this model. I told you what this model was all about. You didn't want to listen. You All you cared about was selling players that you didn't want at this football club. And then the players we brought in are fucking all downgrades. Let's have it right. The majority are all downgrades. The majority are not good enough. And they need time. And in the Premier League, you do not get time. This league is relentless. This league is not kind to you, mate. 
Yeah. So Pochettino knows that and he's wishy washy. He's going one minute, he's going, Oh, we're Chelsea, we have to win. We're this is what this club's all about. We're gonna win, we're gonna compete for the Premier League, we're gonna compete for FA Cup, Carabao Cup, we're gonna win it all. Yeah. All right. Then he goes back to it's a process. We need to trust the process, it's a project, long term thing. Have patience, this and that. Um, it's not important, you know, where the fans can cry all they want. I'm not crying, yeah. Then he goes back again and says, This is not the Chelsea champion that won the Champions League and Premier League. Well, no shit. We know that. We fucking well know that. Why? Because these clowns upstairs have gutted that, have dissected and ripped apart that team. This team would never, ever win the Champions League. This team is a long way from fucking Champions League music, bruv. Yeah, the anthem, they're never going to hear it at this rate. We are fucking so far behind. It's a joke, man. We are, I can't see the top half of the table. Uh, it's, it's just, a, it's disaster after disaster. It's wrong decisions after wrong decisions. Every game I'm going into and I'm, I'm having this false hope, we're going to land it. We're going to get a result. We're going to scrape a result. And every game we're going in there worse and worse and worse. And we look a fucking shambles. Yeah, we look a shambles, man. We've got nothing in our locker, man. We've got nothing. Honestly, we are fucking in trouble. And I am telling you this now, if it carries on like this, we are looking and facing a relegation battle. Can you understand what I'm saying to you, bruv? We're facing a relegation battle the way we are right now. Our team, after spending one billion, one fucking billion, bruv, one billion you have spent on this team. And look at us. Go and buy your Simmons, man, 100 million. Go and buy Frankie de Jong's, man. Go and get Declan Rice's. Go and fucking buy top draw, man. Go and get Jao Felix at this rate. Look at him at Barcelona, Barcelona in a balanced team. He can, you can land the minerals. We are fucked, man. We are fucked as a, as a, as a club. We are gutted. The facial expressions on these players, man. Their, their heads are down. There's no leadership. There's no one to pull them out and dig them out, bruv. There's fucking nothing, man. And I'm sick to death of this shit, all right? I told you a lot about this model. This model has killed our football club. The priori priority is the model, not the team, not Chelsea, not our club, not the supporters, not the fucking community. The priority is the money-making fucking scams that these clowns are implementing our football club, buying all of these fucking kids, man, from different continents, bro. That is what is the priority of our football club, all right? Making money, the per note. And you bring me on, fucking, we got Cole Palmer, bruv, 50 million plus 5 million add-ons, and you sold fucking Mason Mount to bring me Cole Palmer, who does fuck all, bruv. He's a kid, man. All right, these are kids, man. And he's not even a number 10. I've got City fans telling me he's not a number 10. He's a left or right player, man. He's not a fucking number 10. And you're bringing me these players. You're bringing me fucking disaster. Disaster, man, over Trev Chalibur. You're a fucking long way from Starbucks, man. This is a joke, man. Honestly, it's a fucking joke, man. He's, we, we will not drop Colwell. Why? You want to fucking raise Colwell's price slag so you can sell him off and profit because you're fucking going what you're trying to get 500 million investment from some other company because you're fucked you're fucked financially you can't spend any more money you know you've got to spend money us supporters will not accept any other kids man no more kids we're all the wonder wonder fucking kid brazilians man why don't you play them you might as well play them it's a fucking joke man everything's a joke this club has been destroyed man Honestly, I don't recognise it. it. It kills me. It fucking kills me that we are in this state, man. It absolutely cuts like a knife through butter. And I know this. I knew this. I was expecting it. I'm always on false hope because I love my club and I know that this club should be right up there, man. It should be up there where Roman built us, man. Roman, Roman built us at the top. We were competing, even if we weren't competing for Premier League. Like you fucking melt say, yeah, for the last seven years. Who gives a fuck, man? We were Champions League winners, Club World Cup winners, Super Cup winners, bro. We won titles, man. We were competing. We got top four. Thomas Tuchel lost both wing-backs last that season, bro. He lost both wing-backs. We were flying at the top of the table and he still got us fucking into what? A quarter-final in Champions League against Real Madrid, which we should have won. And we got robbed, bro. No, was it that? Was it the semi-final? I've lost my train of thought. Either way, we should have fucking got through and beat Real Madrid because they went and won it that season. Let's have it right. But the bottom line is, he suffered with injuries, bruv. And he got us top four. 
Yeah, top four because he's an elite problem solving manager. Pochettino, I've told you from day one, he's not a problem solving gaffer. He's a project manager. He's a coach. Like he said at Spurs, he, he said, I'm not a manager, I'm a coach. Well, what the fuck are we doing here, man? We need a gaffer, man. I told you, and only an elite gaffer will change this model. And they won't bring us an elite gaffer because the elite gaffer doesn't collaborate. Listen, Ted Lasso Bowley, you fucking melt. You're absolute joke, bruv. Everyone's coming for you, I'm telling you now. And Siri Merchant, it's not long, mate. Knock, 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 knock. Let's have it right. Open fucking sesame and let's land the damn minerals. Because I tell you this now, you lot, you lot, oh man, you're fucking so clueless, mate. You ain't got a clue about football and you've assembled this team. You have. you got all your little jellyfishes in line, bruv. And they're all doing what you have, what you tell them to, bruv. Let's have it right. You will not get an elite gaffer. You have to change it. If you don't change it, we're going to be in the championship. And that's not going to be successful for you lot because you're not going to make no money. It would be, it would be quite nice in the sense that we'll lose all the fucking wrongers in the fan base and all these idiots. And then we'll play Champions League championship football because at this moment in time, we look like a championship side. I'm looking at our play and we look like we're fucking right to play Villa the way we are. It looks like Villa are better than us. It's a fucking disaster, man. It's an absolute joke, bruv. It's a joke. Honestly, yeah? It's a fucking joke, bruv. I'm losing my voice. I've got heart palpitations, bruv. Because this is not our club, man. This is not what we recognise Chelsea as. This is not Chelsea. I say it time and time again. And people go, you've got to be patient. Patient for what, man? Patient for what? We've got enough players there that should be able to fucking beat uh, Bournemouths and fucking Villas, man. Like, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? Forest! How can you lose to Forest at home? Man City go and beat him, man. No problem, bruv. What are we doing here, man? We're losing to Forest, man. We're losing to Nottingham Forest, man. It's, it's just like one calamity after the other, man. We're dropping so many points. We are a long way from fucking Starbucks. We'll be lucky if we see 10th, bruv. We will be lucky at this rate if we see Tim. I don't know what's going to happen at this football club now. This is all unprecedented times in the sense that it can only get worse if they don't land the minerals. And it's not going to fucking help with having these clowns going in that dressing rooms. Yeah, it don't help. Fuck off out of the dressing rooms, man. Stay out of the meddling. Stop meddling in our team, man. You ain't got a clue, man. You're a fucking fraudulent Pablo wannabe Escobar, man. You're a long way from fucking Colombia, man. You're a long way from it, Egg Barley. You're a fucking clown. You understand me? You're a fucking clown. You deserve to be in the mud. Everywhere you go, man, you look a joker. That's what you are, mate. You're a fucking clown. And you should stay out of our football club. You understand me? Sell up, shut up shop and get out of our football club. Get out. Yeah? You're not welcome here no more. Yeah? You've absolutely fucking destroyed us. And not only that, Pochettino's going to take all the blame now. It won't be long till Pochettino's sacked, bruv. I'm telling you now, Pochettino will get sacked, all right? And they will, the, 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 the agenda's already started on Pochettino. And I told you, the only thing I can question is Chilwell should have played, but then I thought about it. And I tried to think from the gaffer's point of view, if he played Chilwell and he played Madrid and it didn't click and it didn't work, what's he got left on the bench? Name me another winger he can bring on. Name me another striker you can bring on, because Bozier ain't fit. So he's probably thinking, I'll play Madrid, and then I'll bring on Chilwell later on and see if that works. And if that works, fantastic. You know what I mean? We've got a result here. But he's got no backup option. The team picks itself. We now lost Gusto. And let's have it right. People going, it's not a red card. Listen, the guy went high off the ground, hit his ankle. It's a red card, bruv. End of. If that happened to one of our players, we're calling for a red card. End of story, bruv. Red card straight. That's it. Now we've lost Gusto for three games, bruv. And then what? Then what? Where's Reese James? Reese James is nowhere to be seen. He's not fit. He's not going to come back. So now we're going to probably have to play Casado right back, bruv. Like he did at Brighton. And he did quite well against Arsenal. But this is it, man. We've got no lovies out. We've got fucking all these new signings are out. I mean, it's just embarrassing, bruv. It's absolutely embarrassing, bruv. Yeah? Let me just run through the chat, man. This is very difficult to do on my phone, bruv. Very difficult to do on my phone. Um, make sure you smash the piece of that like button, every single one of you. Um, what does it say? Clear Lake has destroyed this club. No manager. Oh, where's it gone, bruv? Where's it gone, bruv? This is a disaster, man. The whole fucking thing's a joke, man. Everything's a joke. It's, it, everything. Everything's a disaster, bruv. 
Um, right. Cleargate has destroyed this club. No manager in the world is winning anything with a squad like uh, squad this young. Winning with, was was our ethos. We have sadly lost it. We've we, they, they've sold our soul for the pound note, for the profitability, for the Epstein FC model, for the multi club model. They're trying to buy sport in Lisbon instead of fucking addressing our first team, which is absolutely lacking in real depth and quality and lacking in experience. And you're talking about buying fucking sport in Lisbon. That tells you everything you need to know about these owners. These owners are a joke, man. They have got no care about our football club and competing at the highest level. All they give a shit about is this, mate. That's all they care about. And right now, they're throwing it in a strip, strip club and they ain't even fucking get coming on nothing, bruv. That's how poor they are, man. They can't even get it at, bruv. That's how poor they are. Yeah, they've got nothing, man. No minerals, no fucking idea, no brains. They're just little businessmen, billionaire businessmen that are praying and hoping that this model comes together and we, we land it in five, six years. In five, let me tell you this, in two years, one year at this rate, we will be nowhere near it. You are desperate for us to be in the Champions League. And you cannot afford us to be in the Champions League. You thought that we already qualified for Champions League because you didn't know the game. You didn't understand it. You didn't even know relegation existed. You gave us all this 4-4-3 nonsense and malarkey. And look at you now. You are desperate for the Champions League money. We ain't seen Champions League football. We ain't even seen Europa League or fucking Conference League football at this rate. Yeah, we ain't seen it, bro. We ain't seen it. Yeah, it's for facts. Facts. Big up to talk there, bro. Big up to you, my geezer. Um... Let me just scroll down the chat, bruv. It's so hard doing it on my phone, bruv. Honestly, it really is. Yeah. Um, every Everyone, bruv. Everyone. Listen, supporters that are comparing this model, yeah, to cities are fucking deluded, man. It, tell, it tells you most of these people don't know what they're talking about. you got, look, like, uh, what's it? That account, the little librarian, you all know him, bruv, yeah? The little librarian who loves to delve in with the brown envelopes at Don Robbie's, yeah? Going on, I want Poch, I want this, and then feeding agendas on Poch. Tells you everything you need to know about these fucking melts in the fan base. They're all full of shit, all right? They don't give a shit about anything. They don't care about our football club. All they fucking care about is their channels and their clicks and where they can go and how they can get big on, big on the scene. Fuck all that nonsense. Make sure that it's about telling the truth and being real about the situation, because this situation is, ask yourself, why is Pochettino able to make these decisions? Why is he, well, look at his squad, look at the depth, look at the experience, it's not there. So where are you going? Who assembled this? Who are the ones to blame? And they are the owners. But unfortunately, it's going to be Pochettino that gets the blame, bro. It will be Pochettino, bro. I saw from the first five, ten minutes in this game, I could tell straight away, that we are lost. We're going to lose this game, bruv. And don't give me all this narrative, which you'll get this narrative. Oh, before the red card, it was the red card. That, that's why we lost the game. Nah, mate. We were never scoring. We were, we will be lucky to get a draw in that game with the 10, the 11 men on the pitch, bruv. Yeah. Sanchez kept us out of jail. But the difference between Sanchez and Martinez, Martinez is world-class level, done it in the World Cup. And he fucking kept them, made some great saves, bruv. All right. And Sanchez... You know, it is what it is. He shouldn't be beaten there by Ollie Watkins. Let's have it right. He just shouldn't be. But that's what you get for buying second, third choice. Seagull Merchant's fucking uh, a goalkeeper for 25 million. You know, the bar is so far low, bruv. It's, it's just embarrassing, man. It's honestly, it's so poor. It is really embarrassing. Um, and uh, like I say, do I expected this with the quality of and what the quality levels that we're bringing in the football club? These are not the standards that we should be bringing at Chelsea Football Club. Simple as that, bro. It is as simple as that. Gusto's now gone. I mean, what's he thinking doing that? It's fucking stupid, inexperienced. That's what you get. It's what you get, mate. Yeah, Enzo didn't run the game. Enzo wasn't in the game. There's two games in a row now. He's not been in the game. I need him to be in the game, bro. If he's not in the game, ticking the game, then we're fucked. Casado's not that guy. He's, he's a destroyer. That's what he is. In some moments, he was good. Gallagher, he's a workhorse, but he's not a creator. He's not even playing his right position. He's working, but he plays for the fucking badge. And that's what we care about. We need enough more of that. Disarcy is nowhere near good enough. End of. He's just not. He's just not good enough. Colwell, he's not a fucking, he's not a fucking, he's not a left back, man. 
He's not a left back. When you're playing the back four, he's not a left back. He can't overlap. You've got Cole overlapping Mudrick. What are we fucking doing here, man? Why are you not playing Chilwell? He's the same old shit, man. And people will blame the gaffer. And, and, and to an extent, yes, I understand. I understand why the gaffer's doing it because he wants some sort of option on the bench, some sort of firepower, because Chilwell does give you that. Chilwell was making a pass in our own half, deep in our own half, and then a, literally within a minute later, the guy's up right by the byline making a beautiful cross, bro. Because he can read the game. He's got experience. We don't have that. Jackson, you know, he lost the ball. He went and chased it. He closed down. The, the, the player wiggled away and then he stopped. He didn't chase the ball again, man. He got deflated. Mudrick played some nice little touches. He got some, he played a lovely ball. He had some good little moments. But again, he can't do it all himself. Sterling had a great chance, maybe should have scored, granted, maybe ifs and buts and all this jazz, but the bottom line is, we're not good enough. We're just not good enough. We're not, we're not at the races. And we've already played six games and we've got five points. It's, it's, it's relegation fault already. Already! Big up to Bartek Minerals, bruv. Big up to Bartek Minerals. Uh, he says, Bowley, Bowley by Sporting Lisbon, um, sorting this shit. I, I mean, listen, this guy, yeah, all they care about is a model. That's all they care about. They don't care about our football club. They don't care about us competing at highest level. Look at us, man. We so Listen, you fucking assholes, yeah? You sold, you forced the agenda and you sold our Champions League winning players, right? Okay, these players, we would not be losing to Villas. And don't blame me last year. Last year, the owners were going in that dressing room, the absolutely dictating this fucking jellyfish, wrong him. No nuts. He's got an NDA who has never spoken out. No one's heard from Potter since the Chelsea job because he can't fucking say nothing, yeah? But this guy was a yes man, end of. He was told what to do. And that's why they, we were in that position. He was forced to play, not play players, play players, this and that, same old narrative. He was getting undermined left, right and centre. And now I'm seeing it with Pochettino, mate. Pochettino goes, I've got plenty of lemons. I've got green lemons, yellow lemons. We had it at Tottenham uh, and it worked in two years at Tottenham. We're not fucking Tottenham. We're not Spurs, Gaffer, mate. Yeah? Get that in your head. We're not Spurs, mate. You have fucking turned us into Spurs, Bowley and Egg Barley. You have turned us into this fucking just boneless, spineless fucking club right now. I don't identify our club anymore. Yeah? Stop comparing. There's no lemons, Poch, that can fucking save you, bruv. Yeah? Ain't no lemons that are going to save you, bruv. Honestly. Yeah? You can buy containers of the, of the shit and it ain't going to save you. You can fill up the dressing room. It ain't going to keep those owners out. It ain't going to stop the multi-club model. It ain't going to stop you from being told what you've got to do. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Free bags full, sir. That's the going rate now. That's the going rate at Chelsea. If you're not a little yes man, you ain't getting the fucking Chelsea job. And that's it. Until we get an elite gaffer, until they demand their elite players and we sign those elite players, we are fucking never going to be up there, man. And these owners are going to have to do it because I'll tell you this now, the supporters are not going to have it. Me, I'm not having it. And I say it with chess. I'm not ashamed to say it. And I'll say it and I'll speak the truth. And I'll speak with my heart and my soul and my passion for my club because I don't give a fuck about anyone, narratives. I don't give a fuck about all this brown envelope nonsense. I don't give a shit about being in circles and being a celebrity and all this stuff that all these melts want to be. When in the reality, this is se severe at our football club. This is serious at our football club. I don't think people understood. I told you lot last season, this is a serious matter. If we don't stop this model, they, they're going to spend the money and it's too late and they've spent the money and it is too late. We now have to suck it up. And I'll tell you this now, we have to come together as supporters and we have to fucking land it. We have to go at them because they're going to feed the agenda on Poch and it's not Poch's fault, bruv, yeah? But at the end of the day, he needs to fucking land it, man. Uh, at the end of the day, you don't get time and you know it. You don't get time in this league. You do not get time in this league. Big up to everyone in the chat, bruv. Big up to every single one of you in the chat. Make sure you smash the piece of like button. Make sure you do smash the like button. Respect to everyone in here. Everyone that understands, all you guys on the Minnows FC, you know it, bruv. You know it. Everyone knows it. No one is, no one on here, everyone knows the, the true narrative, bruv, yeah? You could have brought us Jose Marino. You could have brought us Luis Enrique, but you gave us Pochettino. You gave us, this is, they don't even understand heritage, rivalry. They brought us an ex-Spursy gaffer. I never wanted him, but I'm backing him. I said, if we get him, I'll back him. And I back him. 
All right? And I understand the project, and I know what it is, but the project is not going to work. The project's never been done in the history of football. So what do these clans think all of a sudden it's going to work? They are going to be on their knees, praying, begging, fucking, they're going to be the jellyfish. Yes, sir, please, sir, three bags full for the Super League. They need the Super League. They need that cash injection, bruv. They need the new tournament, and they're going to use Chelsea's heritage to enter that Super League because of our dominance under, under Roman Abramovich to allow us that golden ticket for them to get the money to then implement and continue their fucking joking. Disgraceful project, bruv. And this is the going rate, man. I said it on the Minnows FC. Every single one of you, you get it, you understand it. And this is where we are now. You know, it's gone beyond talking about football now. It's gone beyond talking about tactics. It's gone beyond talking about players and the gaffer. It's gone beyond that. Because let's ask, let's ask yourself, who employed these gaffers since these owners come in? Who sacked Thomas Tuchel? The owners. Who employed Jellyfish Potter? The owners. Who allowed fucking Lampard to come back? The owners for a PR stunt, all right? Who brought in Pochettino? The owners. The owners. Who bought all these players? The owners. They're not Pochettino's players. We were making signings before Pochettino came. Because they don't love it, we're looking at buying before Pochettino. Just because we signed them with Pochettino doesn't mean that they're his signings, you fucking idiots. Mike up and understand what's going on. Yeah? He's, he's not got any say, bruv, in what we sign. He's, a, he's, a, he's working with a budget Roman model. You make it work. We buy the players. We instill the model. We bowl these clubs. We farm these kids and you develop them. And we want to we want to make them into world-class players. You're a long way from Starbucks. Everyone on fucking Talk Sports and Sky Sports, who we know are campaigning against Chelsea, they're actually talking the right narrative. They're speaking what I say. Already, they're saying it. Andy Jacobs has already come out. Why have you not bought a fucking world-class striker? Like, look at these players you're spending money on. Look at these. I mean, a DM for 150 million is, is just suicidal, man. It's a disaster. Like, because you were held a ransom, you had to buy him because you were six months chasing because you had to carry it in Win Stanley and you fucking shoot it little, go in for negotiations when they were told by you what to do. Because in the reality, you're the ones that are dictating them what they can and can't bid. Then they send them in themselves, big daddy bollocks, yee-haw, all that jazz, to go and get the deal done and pay, overpay and get spanked. You got overpaid with Enzo. You got overpaid with Lavia. You got overpaid with every fucking player, Madrid. Everyone's getting overpaid, bruv. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bruv. It is what it is. This is the going rate at Chelsea Football Club, all right? This is what we are now. We're run by clowns. These are worse than the Glazers. The Glazers have been there 10 years and fucked their club. Granted, in fact, United, cream on top. They still go and buy decent players. They don't buy all kids. They're not trying to instill a model, a money make, because they're just making money off the club and they're understanding what the club had, can make for them anyway, just without them doing too much. And they'll just spend a bit of money. These owners have come in, gutted us and from top to bottom and spent more money in less time than the Glazers and they have fucking made us worse for it, bruv. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? We are worse for it. These guys are worse than the Glazers, these clowns. Say it loud for all everyone in the back. I'm saying it louder for you lot in the back because I don't think you understand. I don't think people understand, bro. Yeah, that's how bad it's got at Chelsea Football Club. That we are now with these American owners, this Clear Lake group, yeah? Clear Lake Capital, yeah? Fuck me, man. Roman, you've been robbed. We, You know you've been robbed. You know that these guys, you never wanted them. That's why you put the Glazers clause in for 10 years because these guys can't take sell shares, stakes, this and that because you know what they're all about. You know what the American owners are about. They're not like our oh, Don Roman. Don Roman didn't do it for money. He done it for the love of the game and he knew he's going to make money by being successful and being challenging, making Chelsea the best club in the fucking world, which he achieved, bruv. And we won the lot with every trophy in the cabinet. These guys, there's none of that mentality. There's none of that intent. There's none of that ambition. There is zilch. Nothing. Nothing at all, bruv. Yeah? Nothing at all. Yeah? This is how far we've capitulated. Yeah? Let's have it right. Um, big up to Constantine. He says, reports are out. Egbali's in the dressing room now. Also makes me sick how Matt Fraud Law dropping agendas on silver saying his standards are too high. Listen, let's have it right. Silver stands are high because he's, he's a world-class player. He's one of the players, very, if not any players in this team, that have the minerals to play with our GOAT team of Terry, Czech, 
Lampard, Drogba, Thiago Silva gets into that team. You understand me? All right. There are people throwing agendas on Thiago Silva. If you don't have Thiago Silva in that defence, we are fucked. Yeah? All right? And we're fucked anyway with him in it because of what's around him. They're not on the same level. And you've got Fraud Law giving it. Egg Barley in the dressing room is, a, is, is the same old story. Same old. They will not fucking let go, man. They're like a cancer at Chelsea. They are the cancer at Chelsea. You lot called Mason Mount, Kai Havertz, fucking all these players cancer at our football club because your stinky agendas when the real cancer is live and kicking at Chelsea Football Club and it comes from the fucking ownership, right? They are the cancer at this football club because everything that we are going through right now is because of them. They didn't need to do this. All they had to do was tweak our team, keep Thomas Tuchel, trickle along and still go and buy your little multi-clubs in the meantime. But you want to have the big bollocks, like you think you've got big bollocks going in that dressing room and you're the call all the shots. And if you don't see it our way, then it's down the highway for you lot. You ain't coming down our path. We'll get rid of you sharpish. Well, you didn't want to do that. Your ego's too big. And Thomas Tuchel didn't allow it. Thomas Tuchel had his, had his levels, had his standards, had his demands. And you didn't want to fucking meet those demands. You didn't want to collaborate with him. And your model was laughable. And Tommy T laughs at your model. Tommy T's laying the damn minerals, bruv. He's fucking annihilating teams, all right? He's got Bayern Munich. He's bought a world-class striker. And he's going to go and change for Champions League. He's going to go and win a Bundesliga. And he's going to land at the top level because he's an elite gaffer. He's a problem-solving gaffer. Do you understand me? He's a baller, yeah? Tommy T should have been at our football club still and he's not here. And that's because of these clowns. They should have just gave him the four or five plays that he wanted not the narrative that they were his signings when they weren't. None of the signings, I guarantee you and I know, none of these signings are these gaffers' signings. It doesn't matter what gaffer you put in. If he's not elite of Thomas Tuchel level or higher, that's it. You ain't, you're going to get the same results because it's going to be the same dictatorship dictating them upstairs, bruv. And that's the reality. That is the truth and the matter. It's always been the way, bruv. Yeah? It's always been the way. That is what it is. Anyone coming at Thiago Silva, take a good hard look at yourself. He's a fucking baller. Yeah, he's an absolute baller. He's our only world-class player in our entire team. Do you understand that? He's our only world-class player. All right? We don't have world-class players. We don't have core, man. We don't have it. We don't have legends and leaders in our team, man. Everything's gone, man. And it's, it's sick to us. I'm sick to my stomach. Of, of having to say this shit and people are so clueless in the game, bruv. They're so, they're, they're all bought, man. They're all bought. I don't care, man. They're not true to themselves. They're liars, man. They're all fucking liars. They need to address it, bruv. All of them, they need to address the truth and come at the owners. If you do not do that, well, you're not going to do that, are you? Because you're bought. You want your monies every month. That's what you want. You want the cash injection. And unfortunately, these accounts are dictating the narratives across the whole timeline. And you lot come at me. You lot fucking call me names. You lot want to get personal. You lot want to fucking call me out, yeah? Well, listen, I'm calling you all out because you're all in the fucking mud. And I told you what was going to happen at this football club and it's already happening and we're only six games in the season. Don't think it's getting any better, you melts. It's not getting better. It's only getting worse. So, listen, like I say, I don't want your apologies. Rather than apologise to me, yeah, why don't you fucking just speak the truth and be real and put pressure on who deserves the pressure and the ones upstairs, not the gaffer, not the players. These guys are going to get scapegoated. Players will get scapegoated and the gaffer's going to be scapegoated. Inevitable. Can you imagine Mason Mount in this team right now? Everyone will be blaming Mount and they wouldn't look at all the other players. Well, he's not here. Havertz ain't here. These players ain't here that you've got agendas. So you lynch onto Sterling. You lynch onto Tilwell. You lynch onto Thiago Silva. You're fucking even causing it on Reese Jane. You'll link onto anyone, bruv, except your little favourites, yeah? You fucking jokers, man. You're an embarrassment. You know that. You don't address the real problem. You don't address it. And that's why you are an embarrassment to yourselves. And unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. Plastics, fucking frauds, um, little brown envelope wannabes. This is what it's all about. If you don't like the minerals landing, then jog on, man. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to stop spitting the facts. And that's what that's the way it goes. I'm done. Like, I'm done with I'm done with that. And there's no one, there's no one that can tell me that anything different are the reasons why we are the way we are. There is no one. 
because I know all the reasons and I've named them all. There is no one that can come at me and say, yeah, but this is all on Pochettino. He should have done this. He should have done. Yeah, really? Okay, go on, do it. Watch him do it. It's not going to change nothing. Nothing's going to change, man. The team's not good enough. You've overhyped these players. You've overrated these players. And it's all fucking now. You're getting bantered. Now, these owners have turned on this into banter FC. We've got Arsenal and Spurs competing in North London derbies. Probably one of the best North London derbies that, that, that anyone's seen for many years. And it's because these guys are playing. These are gaffers that are allowed to instill what they're supposed to instill, which is their philosophy, their way of playing, to uh, to collaborate with them. Jurgen Klopp, all right, the veneer merchant, all right, he's, he's run by clowns. We know, FSG out, FSG out. If Liverpool winning, he's not FSG out. Like the Glazers, like Kroenke and, and, and fucking Lego merchant, FC merchants, they were all Kroenke out. Now they're not because they're competing. Well, look at the veneer merchant. He has now got them winning games as a well-oiled machine. What they do is they'll, they'll list him two, three players. He'll say, I want two or three of these players. And they understand his philosophy. They understand his system. They back him. They want him at the club because he's proven. And what they do is they go and buy certain players that they feel that they can afford. And he makes it work because he's a top elite gaffer. We don't have that. We don't have that. Because the ones that are making the decisions don't understand football don't know formations, don't understand the philosophy, aren't working with the gaffer. The gaffer's philosophy ain't even a top-tier philosophy anyway. He's not even uh, elite level. So you're down in every fucking department. So where do you expect us to, to go and compete and try and get top four? It's delusion. It's, it's absolute delusion. You're dreaming. And these dreams don't come true. Let's have it right. Yeah. Gabriel, you're looking through one eye, you merchants, bro. Yeah. Look through both your eyes and understand and see See what's happening at Chelsea because this is the reality, bruv. Yeah. All right. This is the reality. Yeah. And we're going to hear it all. We're going to hear it all. We're going to hear all these links now transfer links, this player. Oh, I don't give a fuck, man. The damage is done. The damage is done at Chelsea. You have to go and spend big money on a top class striker like, yeah, Ozzyman. Big up to Joey. Ozzyman, who Jose Marina has come out and said he's the closest thing to Didier Drogba. Yeah, let's have it right. You should have bought him this summer. Should have spent a hundred and fucking... Ten. When you look at attacking players, that's who you spend the big money on. Yeah, all right? When you go over a hundred million for DMs, man, it's, it's just embarrassing. And you're not even buying someone that's really proven. You know, Casado's only done it for a year. Yeah? Declan Rice, justifiable, bruv. He's fucking done it for years on end, man. He's And he's still young. Yeah? Um, so it is what it is, bruv. You know, we got... Um, Andre Santos, the, the clue, clueless lot behind the scenes, advising him to go fucking Nottingham Forest. And the guy's not even on the bench. He's not even getting game time. Great development for Andre Santos. The ones that called him a baby Casemiro. And he's the one that's going to land it. And he's, gonna, he's good enough to play Chelsea because I'm pre-season. And the gaffer knew, I need experience. I need number 10. I need a striker. I need another defender. And you didn't give him fuck all, man. Didn't you do nothing, bruv. Yeah. So the bottom line is this, guys. We need a protest. Um, that's the only way we can go forward as a football club. Um, and I'm telling you now, these owners, is their, is, that is their nightmare. Their worst nightmare is us protesting against them because they have paid over the odds to keep the fan base in their pocket. And right now, they've used every big account to be hush-hush, don't say nothing true, keep it all tight-lipped, and don't let anything out. Big up to Trev Barese. All right, with his fitness coach, and then he says he's not my fitness coach or no longer my fitness coach. The bottom line is this that's the true narrative. The true narrative is this Trevor Ray is going to be sold irrespective, like I told you, and he will be out because there, there are leaks coming out of the uh, Chelsea Football Club, like there were leaks last year, and there will always be leaks because Ted Lasso bones too much. And you can't keep everyone quiet, you fucking wrongers. Yeah, all right, these are the points. This is true what he's spitting, he's spitting the truth. What he's saying is true is that it's a shit show. Medical department, shit show. They sacked our medical team and they brought in a new medical team and our injuries are through the roof. Worst in Europe, continuing. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, this is the thing, bruv. We are still here. We are still sitting here and everyone behind the scenes knows it's a disaster. It's toxic. These lot are fucking clueless at our football club. Yeah, it's not carefree CFC. It's clueless CFC under these fucking clowns. These ownership, yeah? That's what it is right now because they are clueless. They have no idea what they're doing. 
And all they are doing is implementing the business model. That's all they're doing. And it doesn't collaborate with football. Football doesn't collaborate with just pick and mix players on data and making it work. It's not fucking money ball. We ain't Brad Pitt here from Hollywood, bruv. Yeah, we're Chelsea Football Club, SW6. Do you understand me? We're football heritage. We're football royalty. We're European pedigree. You don't understand football. So fuck off. Simple as that. Yeah. Change it. Change it. Fix it. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. You ain't going to get it right. Ah, oh, the football fans are very demanding at Chelsea. Yeah, we fucking are because we're winners, bruv. We are born winners. That's what we are at Chelsea. So let's have it right. And as British Patriots says, facts upon facts, hold the owners accountable. Not everyone else beneath them because they are the ones that are so involved, man. They're in that dressing room. They're at training ground. They're fucking negotiating deals, bruv. That's how deep it is, man. These guys will not give any power to every, anyone else, but they deem, they give you the illusion that they're giving power to all the ones below, the, the Carrot Eaton, Win Stanleys and, and Stuart Littles and all these directors. The reality is they're not. They're, man, they're all yes men. They're all jellyfishes, bruv. That's what we're doing. Bruv, it's rotten from top to bottom, man. Yeah, it's a rotten apple. Yeah, it's like the apple in fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called, bruv? What's her name? Snowflake. What's her name? The Disney film, bruv. What's the name, bruv? Oh, man. You know the fuck, the Seven Dwarfs. Snow, snow, snow. That's it. Snow White, Snow White, Seven Dwarfs. The same thing. She's the apple, bruv. And then that's it. She drops dead and she goes into a trance of spell for 10 years, bruv. You know what I mean? That's where we are now. We're, we're playing Disney FC now. Disney FC. Yeah. Snow White Disney FC. Let's have it right. And it's not like, you know, we love, um, you know, we love, you know what I'm saying. Let's have it right. Shout out to Tommy T. Chant. Um, so it is what it is, bruv. Um, uh, this is this is everything that I can absolutely get off my chest. I can't I can't bring up tweets because I'm on my phone. I can't look at what's it latest on the timeline. I feel sick to my stomach. What's on the timeline because it's all the same shit as always. But um, but guys, big up to every single one of you. Um, smash the piece of the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you put your comments down below. Um, and um, respect to everyone. And this is the funny thing. We've got to wait a whole week of this shit. A whole week now, we have to wait. A whole week. And this is the thing, people go, we're playing one game a week and we're cool. We're going to land it. We can get the bag of three points. It's worse. When you lose games and you're not in form, you want to get on that pitch and can make it right. You can't even do that. The mentality is not there. The experience is not there. It's the same old shit. Ted Lasso Bowley, out. Siri Merchant Egg Bali, out. Weiss, out. Clear Lake, out. End of story. Up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you. And like I say, put all your all your comments down below uh, and hit the like button, subscribe button, and we will sing it. Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich, Roman Abramovich. The greatest Chelsea owner, the greatest owner in world football. You will never be that owner, bruv. Yeah, you will never be Roman Abramovich. Yeah, go owner. Let's have it right. As always, guys, big up to everyone. We see things they'll never see. Smash those likes, subscribe. All that jazz. Shout out to Chelsea old boys. Love to every single one of you in the chat and respect you to um, land the soup minerals. And as always, guys, um, we'll be doing another show soon. Um, I just had to get this off my chest. Fresh, bruv. Fresh, um, as always. But respect. Up the Chelsea, up the minerals FC. We move.